Hello everybody. I'm glad you're here today. I've been up since 2.40, 2.45 this morning because the Lord woke me up and shared some things with me. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in the Panhandle of Texas. And I'm glad you're here because I'm sharing a word that I wrote down from God from October 30th, 2022. So nearly a year ago. I wrote this down and the reason I'm sharing it with you is because I heard a video or I saw, I never really watch videos. I can just listen to them, but I, I listened, watched a video on the channel. You be ready. You, the letter U, B, the letter B and the word ready. This video is called on the horizon. He posted it yesterday, I believe, which would have been September 4th, 2023. Today's September 5th, 2023. I was so stunned with the the things that he wrote and, and shared and the things that I have written and heard from God. And they they coincide together. I don't know this man. I, I, I consider him a brother in Christ, but I don't know him. I don't know where he lives. I've never spoken to him. But when you hear what he says, and I'll put a link to that, to his, to this video in the description box below. When you hear what he says, and then when you hear what the Lord's told me, you're going to be like, oh, wow, there is a God and he's amazing. And he's speaking to us and he's wanting us to warn each other because things are fixing to change. All right. So I want, I, there's actually several words I want to bring you, um, but I'm going to do it over a series of videos, all right? So this one's the very first one. This is October 30th, 2022, and I may have written, I may have brought this to y'all before. I really can't remember, but if I have, you get to hear it twice. So that's how this rolls. All right, October 30th, 2022. Quote from, this is what I'm hearing from God. Write this down my child in the coming days there will be so much sorrow upon the face of the earth remember this you my children are my light darkness runs from you the difficulties that lie ahead of you are already seen by me nothing comes as a, as a surprise to me my children therefore let me remind you i stand at the ready to carry you above the difficulties of the coming days. You will see, you will hear, you will even tremble, but I will steady you. My grip on you will tighten so that you will not crumble beneath the blows coming against you. Look up and see me, for I am near. So then I just ask God, what are these blows, Father? I just asked him that, like, what are you talking about? And he said, shock. It will be the shock of what you thought would never happen happening. The enemy is eager to shock you with world events. In doing that, he knows fear will soon follow. But I say, children, listen now and brace for the shock, knowing it will come wave after wave until you ask, can anything else happen to us? And at that moment, more will blow your way until you ask, how can we stand this? And the enemy will gleefully gather his fearful followers to instill more fear. But you, my children, hear me now before these things occur. I shower you with strength from heaven liquid silver and gold pouring over you anointing you with me so that you will not crumble beneath the shock of the coming days you see your father loves you and wants no harm to falter your path so i say to you now ready yourselves to hear me in the coming days for lies will be all around you lies like a whirlwind of dust seek not the things of this earth but look up but look at the heavenly things that run i'm sorry let me start over seek not the things of this earth but look at the heavenly things and run yes i say run towards them with all your might 
My love and forgiveness washes over you during these days. Seek me first. Seek me forever. No longer do you need to bend in the wind of change. No longer will you lose your footing in the shifting sand beneath your feet. For you stand on solid ground. <sighs> Lifted and placed so you will, you will never fall. The rock of my salvation. No man can touch you. Satan will run from you. Never be afraid, for I, your God, the creator of all things, I have placed you higher on solid ground. Rejoice, my children, for I am coming soon. All right. How much time do we have? I'm going to read one more passage to you from September 1st, 2022. And this is, uh, I had actually had a vision uh, a couple of days earlier before the Lord gave me these words. I had a vision. Uh, I had just shut my eyes to just, my. I have eye problems and my eyes hurt a lot of times. So I just shut my eyes and I just saw this frog in my mind's eye. And as I got closer to the frog, it barked at me like a dog. And I thought, well, that's weird. And that was the end of it. It was, that was it. And so the Lord addresses that. I was like, what was that, Lord? And basically what it was, was things are not as they seem, which was my dad's dream recently about the coming invasion. All right. September 1st, 2022. Fear not the things you are about to see coming upon the earth. I am causing a shifting and a sifting. The frog, the one I saw in my vision, the frog is a marker child. I'm letting you know where you are. Be ready in all things. Never fear, but rooted firmly in me. Remember, what you see on earth is rooted in lies. What may look one way on the outside is full of gritty darkness within. The barking frog, things are not what they look like. The lies of the leaders are black, choking tar, dripping and pouring upon the unbelief of nations. But you, child, will be untouched. Yes, America has already fallen. Do not waste your time wondering how she will be saved. I, your God, am mightier than the mightiest moments of your nation. Stand with me and be saved. Tell the people, when you ask to see me, child, I will show myself to you. When you ask to hear me, child, I will speak. So I asked him, what is coming, Father? And here's what he said. Turbulence among all nations. This is what you will see first, for I know you are asking for signs. Utter disregard of me. No nation on earth is seeking me. No nation on earth is seeking me. <sighs> Thus, the war of nations will blanket the earth, but my remnant will be delivered. Fear not when you see this, for your, you are mine. The nations of the world are choking on the lies of the enemy, and they do not even know their death is imminent. But you do, for I am telling you now, all nations on earth have already fallen. Look to me. Continue, child, to warn. For the dreams I give your father are from me to you. Warn and watch. You will see, for I will show you. That is all you need. Know for anything. Uh, that is all you need to know. For anything more or anything less will falter your steps. Ready yourself, child by drawing near to me. So here's my summation of that. I think we're going to go through some hard times, gang. I'm, I'm talking to the remnant here. Those of us who are believers and who are hanging on to Jesus and are, and are alert and watching and engaged in our our brother Christ, the Lord, 
for us, it's going to get difficult. I don't know about rapture and pre-trib and post-trib and left behind here, there, and yonder. I don't know those things enough to, to share them. I have a firm belief in what I believe is coming. And basically, here is my belief. Whatever the Lord wants will happen. However hard it gets, I will submit to him. If he takes me out, I'm ready to go. If I stay here on the earth to share him, I will do that. I don't believe it is my calling to discern in time scriptures and prophecies. That is not my purpose. If it is yours, good on you. Please do your thing. Do what God leads you to do. What I'm saying is, what the Lord is telling me to tell you is, get ready. Because when things get harder, and they're gonna, they've already gotten harder, they're going to get worse. When they do, know our Lord is good. God is good. God is faithful. He will sustain us during those times and provide for us. Will he come and get us? Maybe. I don't know. I think it's better to be ready to stand with your armor on than to get caught off guard, pining away. Why didn't the Lord come? That's kind of my take on it. But that's just me. Okay? I might be wrong as rain about that. But what I'm hearing God say in this, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shake us. Now is the time. To be in the word of God. You want to hear God's voice? Crack open your Bible and start reading it. And that's how you can hear him. And in doing that, he will teach you. You can hear him move through you and teach you in your mind. And maybe even hear him in your minds. That's, that's what I hear. I hear him in my head and in my heart. And I discern that's him. All right, y'all. I hope that helps you be encouraged, all right? Be encouraged because we're the light. I'm going to bring you more words that he's given me. I'm going to start reading more of my journal to y'all because there's encouraging things. We are the light and the darkness shies away from us. This is not a time for us to be scared and shaken in the corner, in the fetal position, afraid of the enemy. <laughs> No, this is not the time for that. That is not who we are, y'all. We are to stand firm in Christ and know that our light overcomes the darkness. And the darkness is afraid of us. And stand firm in that. Because the Holy Spirit is the mind of Christ within us. Among other things, many things. He is our Lord. So, that's all I have today. I, I, I'm I sorry for the low energy. I am so tired. I think I'm fixing to go shut my eyes for a little bit. But I just wanted to bring that word to you. I will be bringing more words to you. Please check out You Be Ready on the Horizon. Fascinating. It coincides with this. And I was like, I didn't even know God did things like that. Actually, y'all, I'm confessing it to you right now. Don't hate on me. But I I didn't know he would be that detailed. And I know many of the of you are hearing these same things. Thank you for the emails. Gina Lima Charlie at gmail.com if you want to email me. And please comment. What are your thoughts? What are you hearing? Are these the kinds of things God is telling you? Until we meet again, this is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.